It's been a while guys. I mean, it's been two months and I've been dying to get out there and do some surf fishing. So today we're going out. Uh, we'll probably get out there about 10 30 or 11 in the morning. I tried to do it early today, but it didn't work out. But anyways, we're going to get out there and see if we can uh, feel cooler full of fish. I got my lucky hat on today. <laughs> this, this is not my lucky hat. Every time I wear this, I don't have luck. We're going to be using five poles today. We got the two 14 footers on the ends. And then we got my little um, lightweight rod and reel set up and the two uh, pen battle threes that we're going to be using. Back of the Jeep's filled with uh, all kinds of fishing stuff. Getting all my stuff ready for camping. For those of you that want to know how I keep my Jeep so clean, it's all these Adams products right here. Notice how I got in the gallons and stuff like that. So let's get out there and see if we can maybe hook into some fish this time besides whiting. And uh, I'm going to give you a little B-roll on the way out there so you don't get bored. And we'll see you out of the beach. Oh man, it's so good to put my feet on the beach. Oh man. Oh, look at them beautiful birds over there. I am so happy to be back out here. It's been months. Feels good. Beautiful day today. Little windy. Surf's kind of as usual, guys. But check that out. Man, oh man, oh man. I don't know how many sets there is. Five, six. But the water doesn't look that sandy, so maybe this will be a good day. Ah, oh, nice warm sun. I can't tell you how I've missed being out here, guys. I mean, it's it's been a while, and I, I love surf fishing. That's why you guys don't see me do, you know, pier fishing and all that, because I, I just love surf fishing. I, I don't know why, it's just something I love. So today, we brought multiple flavors of fish bites, just in case nothing's biting on the mullet. But we got the new Easy Blue Crab. It's blue and white. And then we're going to be using some green easy shrimp, easy flea orange and white, easy shrimp orange, a little bit of fish gum, some easy clam, and some easy shrimp. And then we've got mullet, and we also got about a pound and a half of shrimp. And then we have in the cooler some ladyfish in there. So not perfect conditions, surf is kind of rough. I've already got one pole out with mullet, so I'm just sitting here waiting to see. I really don't want to get in the water because it's kind of cool today. Beautiful day though, I don't know why the surf's all messed up, but good thing is there's no weed on the beach. So that's a good thing. But look down here, you see all these holes right here? All them holes, that's what you call ghost shrimp. So we may, I got my ghost shrimp catcher and I may go ahead and try to get some ghost shrimp to see if I can catch anything. Let's check out the uh, tackle that we're using today. So you can see all my rod and reels set up here and then I got my lure reel right there in case I see something out there or things aren't biting, I might throw that. We got the Stanfield's tackle pompano rigs. You see the size hooks I'm using and that's green. We're also using, I believe this is like a three or four weight. On the 12 foot rod, we're using Stanfield Tackle Pompano Rigs, orange and white. And we're using orange on the, uh, the Battle 3 Limited Edition. And over here, we got some old Salty's Pompano Rigs. Today, we're gonna try to catch something besides whiting, but if I catch whiting, hey, I'm all right with that. I've got multiple baits, some cut bait and stuff like that. So hopefully we catch a redfish trout or I don't know, pompano or something besides whiting, but if we catch whiting all day, I'm happy with that. Make sure you, uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. 
and uh, hit that like button down there, dislike button. There's also a thank you button or a thanks button. That's if you want to buy me a beer or a cup of coffee or anything like that. I really appreciate it. We got plenty of different baits today because I know I, I, I've seen in a comment you guys tell me use bigger baits. Well, I usually do. I just don't show it on video because I don't catch anything. Every once in a while, I'll catch a redfish or a trout on something. But you guys got to remember, I usually fish with lures. I don't really like using shrimp, bait, fish bites or anything. I like to fish with lures. But it hasn't been the same down here since that winter freeze, what, two years ago? It hasn't been the same. So hopefully we could get out here one morning early and throw some lures and see if uh, things are going back to normal. This spot here used to be really, really hot uh, using lures like uh, rooster popper, uh, silver spoon, DOA shrimp. I mean, right next, it's, I mean, it's probably not even a quarter of a mile away from the uh, fish pass jetties. I used to pull some big fish out of here. So if you haven't seen those videos, go back and I uh, think one of them is called monster trout and the other one, uh, a cooler full whiting. There's a monster trout in that one too. But this is where I've caught most of all my big fish. All right, let's get some poles in the water and see what we can catch. <laughs> Hopefully I can get it out there about the second gut or close to it. Whoa, this water's chilly. Ah. Here we go. Damn, I just ripped the line. What happened, man? Damn it. I bless it. Uh. Well, I have to fix this one up. That damn thing closed up on me not a good start so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just cast this one because these poles haven't been used in a while and make sure nothing happens just lightly there we go wow man this water is freaking cold that one did just fine damn all right, here we go. <laughs> I actually casted this one further than that 12 footer. Whoa, look at that, look at that. I got a bite, I got a bite guys. I got a bite. That's a fish. First bite of the day. We'll see what fish bites I put on here. I think I got him. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, I got him. Little damn whiting. Look at that, guys. First fish of the day off the, uh, that's the fish bites shrimp. The fish bites shrimp flavor. First catch of the day. We're gonna go ahead and put a Stanfield tackle redfish rig on. One hook on that pole since it broke. And then we'll put a nice chunk of uh, ladyfish on there. Pretty good sized shrimp here. Maybe we can get lucky and get a drum. I want to give a shout out to Fisherman's Bait and Seafood. You guys are awesome, man. And I'll tell you what, I won't get bait anywhere else unless you guys are out of bait. Free ice. Every time you buy bait, you get free ice. I love it. All right, let's see if we can get this out without throwing the shrimp off. Oh, I got a big bite on that other pole. 
that was a big one. Look at that. Look at that, guys. And I mean, it bent pretty dang good, so he's got to be still on there. That uh, feels like he's on there. This feels like a lot bigger fish than the first one I caught. And it took a while for something to hit on this, but it's definitely a fish. And old Fred over there waiting for me to bring in a fish for him. So, I don't know. It may be a big whiting, but there's something on my other one over here. Yep. Small whiting. I'm thinking Fred wants some food. Cause this is a small one. Come here, Fred. Here, Fred. There he goes, man. That's his dinner. Well, you didn't even thank me. Look at him. He swallowed that whole, the whole, I mean, that whole thing. One bite, swallowed it. All right. Nice chunk of ladyfish on Stanfield's tackle redfish rig. Hope something picks up that ladyfish. Whoa, got a fish, guys. Way to welcome me back to surf fishing. It's probably a big whiting. Yeah, it's a big one. Wow, that's a big whiting. I got two big ass freaking whiting. Let me get these fish off and then I'll get back in my Jeep. All right, I'll call you back. All right, bye. Two of them. Off the new fish bites. Blue crab. Two at a time now. Well, I'm telling you guys, these whiting, they've been keeping me so busy that I've been out here for four hours and this is only one, the second time I've sat in this chair. First time was only for a few minutes. And now I, I had to take one rod down. I've got three out right now. I had four and I'm like, I need a break. <laughs> no telling how many fish I got on these poles. I think I might have another one. So there must be a big school of whiting out there because it's all I'm catching except for that uh, hardhead. Yep, here's another whiting. Two more. So all the fish bites are working. Every color and every flavor. There we go, guys, two more. I'd have one heck of a taco, man. I'm hoping some pompano move in. Usually you'll have a school of whiting and then a school of pompano will start coming through. That would be sweet. All right, guys, let's get you revived. All right. Uh, 
Uh, maybe that worked. There they go. All right. Not a bad day catching a lot of whiting. Guys, whiting. Oh, yeah. And I'm not going to be keeping any fish today, guys. I'm just catching fish. That's a giant whiting. And that's off the uh, the new fish bites blue crab. Look at that. Look at that, man, off that blue crab. Pretty good sized whiting, man. But I'll tell you guys, man, I've, I've been working out here, I'll tell you that, man. It's hard to run four poles when there's a school of whiting out there. I don't know, I have one pole in the first gut, and I think I caught two whiting off that, and then the rest of them have been in the second gut. So we're about to wrap it up here. I will start fishing some piers, and I will start fishing the jetties and stuff like that as soon as it gets a little bit warmer. And I'm gonna be camping again, probably do a couple more survival videos, and. You know, I think I'm going to try to camp at Lake Corpus Christi again and Canyon Lake and then probably do some more beach camping with my sister and her husband and stuff like that. So appreciate you guys watching this video. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Hit the like button down below. And if you feel like helping support the channel, buy me a beer, cup of coffee or a Twinkie hit that thanks button down there. I really appreciate it, guys, and be safe and have a good week.